could hear that beautiful bird of prey just went over. Anyway. I think his mate's calling him. I, uh, I can't see through the trees. I might come out there. Just a tiny bit. Okay. Sorry guys. Well, I'm now just in the water. Trying to do a little bit of protecting. And try not to lose my gear. I found this green, thick tile. I don't know what that's off. I'm also looking for bottles or anything that might tell me a, a history of this patch of the, the water. I um, just had a black, uh, incredibly fast fish dart past me. Um, uh, let me go up and back down. That looks um, a little bit deep down in there. Let's have a look in, in here. Oh yeah, that's an iron ring I can see, a piece of iron. Turn up the volume, I think. Oh, something big again. Oh, yeah. A huge piece of, I don't know, a piece of a hinge or something. Get that out of the water. Well, that's been in there a while. I don't know exactly what that is. So I'll try and get that high up on the bank at the moment. <laughs> okay, well that's funny. I mean mud larking at its best, I guess. Look at that, bad boy. And some kid must have been sad to lose that. That's huge. Okay. Um, yeah, I'm gonna have a look around on the banks as well and I'll come back to you if I find anything interesting I don't know if you can hear me guys this water's pretty fast um, it's in flood at the moment normally it's much calmer than this so I'll have a little look around down in here going that way then I think I'll call it a day in here I haven't really found anything interesting yet sorry so there's no video here, I'll just add this to one of the others. Okay, moving on. I have to be a little bit careful here, because that's very fast, and that's quite deep. So I'll go around that side. But as I was just coming down, I spotted this. Now, there are loads of them up through here. And this is wild raspberry. Not, that one's not ready. Not like that one. Mm. Oh wow. They are very, very sweet. Um, yeah. Did you like one? Yum. Yeah. I'll fill my face for a moment before I carry on. Not metal detecting fine, but something interesting. <laughs> Moving on. Well, Gold Prospecting Australia, I think Josh, Josh, if, if you're watching, or Outdoors with Marky, or any of the other ones. Um, oh yeah, that's not his full name of his channel. Uh, can't remember. Um, I'll drop a link to their channels below. They're, they're always going out in these little creeks and uh, riverbeds and looking for gold. And I wonder if that would be something worth doing in here. Um, who knows? Don't know enough about it to know if there's gold in here or not. Anyway, moving on. Well, 
I just came up from the river. Don't know if you can hear it in the background. It goes into a much bigger river and out of the permission that I have. Um, so I had to come off that and I've come up into the woods on the edge of this permission. And my first find is that. I don't know. I mean, it looks quite old. Could be horse tack. I don't know. Anyway, interesting find nonetheless. Moving on. Well, I found something quite interesting. I got a 40s, 50s signal. I've seen it, I haven't picked it up yet, but it's just here, just under the surface. Wow, okay, well that's a surprise, there's a lot of gold gilding left on that, ooh, okay. Toothbrush and water time. Now, next question. Did I bring any water with me? Aha. Uh -huh. Oh, that's Butterfly Digs um, water bottle from her. I won it on one of her uh, giveaways. It was very generous of her to send it to me actually because it's a long way. Oh, and a pocket find just dropped out. Uh, other pocket finds are available, not advertising that one, but ooh, yeah, might be good timing. Let's have a look. This is the first use of the water bottle. Well, that's interesting, it's got a loop on the top there. The water bottle works well. So it would have been, would have had a chain off it at some point. So possibly some sort of pendant maybe. Not sure exactly which way round it would have gone. Because it's Hmm. But look at it, it's beautiful. Spray bottle works well, it gives a lovely fine mist of water. Um, as far as I can tell, there, there's pattern on both sides and it... I, oh, spider, get off spider. Um, I don't know if it's the same on both sides. I think it is. Same pattern on both sides. So my guess is that it, it was wider and it's been squished. But that's really, really cool. Really cool. That was well worth coming out for that. Moving on. I don't, I don't know if you can see that. Well, that's got to be one of the smallest skulls I've ever found. Look at how tiny that thing is. Not sure about that one. Anyway, there should be a signal somewhere around here. I'm being a bit distracted by all these rocks. Um, and these big wood ants who are not so happy that I'm here. I might have to get back on with the detector again, find that signal. Yes, in right there. Okay. Have a look. What? 
I need to go. Eh? Yeah. Oh, oh, I'm sorry. Oh, is that it? It is. Okay. Oh, it's a piece of a pocket watch. I think. I think that's one of the back plates off a pocket watch. Not fully sure, but barely sure. Okay, cool. Moving on. What I've come across a bit um, was over there that I found that first part of the pocket watch. Or what I still think it's a pocket watch. And here, over here, is another piece of it. Uh, Maybe I can find the, the casing of it. I'll keep going in a bit. Well, I have no idea what I just found. I didn't break it. It, it was, they were pretty much next to each other, these, these pieces. Um, but yeah, it's obviously broken. What on earth can it be with these angles? I don't know. Take it home and clean it up, I guess. See what secrets it hides. Moving on. Well, my next find, you might not recognize that immediately, but it's part of a training round. Um, 58 on the bottom, so it's from 1958. Eight on the top, and then DT. Would have had a plastic casing and green plastic casing with a, uh, a point on the end a rounded point funny to find it without the plastic casing cool moving on you know it only takes one find to turn a day round and i've already had my one find um but i had a 32 33 signal now that could mean pull tab in a lot of places but just underneath the surface here i haven't picked it up yet that looks to me um corner button oh moment of truth coin definitely a coin okay Clean it up a bit, I'll come back with you in just a moment. Um, uh, okay, feet. Yeah, that's pretty much the best I can do. As you know, sometimes I can't walk very well, so dancing is not very good for me, but I have definitely a hammered coin. And it's not one that I recognize. And I won't clean it up anymore here, but it has this beautiful cross on it. Uh, I think that's quite old, but I can't quite make out a date. There's, there's a shield with a crown above it here. Um, the date might be down there. Hmm. Okay, to clean that up later. Hammered coin. Wow. Uh, not at all what I was expecting. Moving on. Well, I just found a hammered coin just by there. There's another signal here, but this is um, up in the 80s. It's too high. But I thought I'd turn you on in case it's something good no oh. hmm. well I'm not saying it's not something good actually I'm not entirely sure what that is is that a, a coin weight that would be really cool if that has some writing in it not sure not sure cool 
Moving on. Well, that's a randomest finders, if ever I found one. Uh, it's got a hole in that. Oh, uh, that looks like part of a hinge there. So I think that's the, um, that would have been the, the top piece of a lid. And then you would, you would flip the lid up off whatever it is. So it could be off a tankard or something like that. Okay. I'm not sure. I'm making it up. <laughs> but anyway, that's what um, my made up thoughts are telling me. Moving on. Well, it's a lump of lead. I don't know whether that has markings put on it de deliberately or whether it's, um, you know, a large musket ball that's hit something, but I don't know. Looks got like it's got these scraping marks on it. Anyway, clean that up later. Moving on. Well, I don't know what I just found. I mean, it's clearly a bullet casing. And it's clearly a fired bullet casing. Uh, can't see it properly. But the end of it is all bent over like it's blown outwards so i don't quite know what happened with that one so it could I, mean, I don't know anyway stop talking get digging moving on well i'm always amazed to find these I hope, well, I think it's what I, I think it's what I think it is. Oh, trying to fall over. Uh, I thought I tore a putty tat. Yeah, it definitely is. I don't know why I find so many of these. Pity they're not all silver, but that one's a nice one. Yeah, beautiful top twin. It's got the ring there with it. So my guess is he lost it complete, but the insides is fortunately fallen out. But that's a lovely find. And there's a bit of shiny there. Could have been some gilding on it. Uh, Actually, I didn't mean to do that, but it looks like the handle is still working after all this time. Crazy. Okay. See you at the next, if there is any. So here's a quick wrap up for um, the hunt. I was started off just in the by the edge of the fields of dreams, and then I went into the water. I went up and over the top of the hill in amongst the woods, found all courts, sort all courts, all sorts of interesting things, and then came back in to find the last two targets near my car before leaving. So, where to start? Um, lumpus lettuce, interesting lumpus lettuce, but I don't know exactly what that is. I thought it might have been a small palm guard at some point but I'm not sure. Interesting bullet case, 1944, TT, the two on top. I don't know what's happened to the end of it there. Um, I mean, it's been fired. So, um, yeah, I don't know what happened. Misfire maybe, something went wrong. This was the last target of the day. It's a pocket watch. Uh, it's the crustiest pocket watch that I think I've ever found. But as you can see, there are places where there's a little bit of shine. 
there you can catch a glimpse of it there so this was silver plated the green is um, is coming from the copper um, and you can just make out the top there um, that has some nice decoration unfortunately the handle came off um, I do have it here but yeah that didn't survive it's really not in great condition there was a ring is it a ring could you call it a ring I don't know jury's out on that one looks interesting I'm not going to try and bend it back because um, I think it's close to breaking there so I, I'm just going to leave it how it is pocket watch bits they're always nice to find I have no idea um, it has a square hole in the center of it is it a, a weight of some kind a cog uh, a pulley wheel a tiny tiny pulley wheel for a doll's house manufacturer I don't know my imagination I still think because it looks like there's a bit of a hinge on that I still think that's um, the handle off something there would have been a lid so it could have been off a um, an old mug or or something pot of something I sort of think it is uh, I have no idea they're handmade it's uh, not aluminium um, it's too heavy there are two of them I thought they uh, actually parts of the same thing but I don't think they are I mean they're similar items but they I couldn't fit them together you see it has that smooth round edge there and then it's it's broken but if you look in there you can see where it's been soldered together um, so I don't know the only thing I mean obviously that's also a tighter angle um, I don't know the only thing I could think of when I first saw it was one of those metal gauntlets um, this is a knuckle joint but I mean surely not surely surely not I have no idea what that would be would be cool if it was one of those and the two stars of the show is this item still not entirely sure it's gold gilding could be a pocket watch fob um, some people have suggested that um, a chandelier piece that's also a, an interesting idea it has been squished so it would have been bigger um, it's got a bit of chain there and it's really interesting I don't know what this shape in the middle is whether it's a feather I don't actually know but I'll try and put some pictures of it with a white background um, up afterwards at the end and this always happy to find hammered coins I hope you can see that 1800 it's from Neuchâtel or Neuchâtel um, with the shield there one Kreutzer Neuchâtel was under Prussian rule in that time so um, yeah it's a it's a very cool find I don't know what it's doing here but um, anyway very happy to find it's not pure silver it has silver content but it's classed as Bilon so it's silver and something else probably copper um, but it's in cool condition I could clean that more but I won't because I have to hand that in um, and I'll let them do the the proper cleaning on it if they wish to um, as I'm not a professional with that anyway guys I think that's it it was a cool hunt um, lots of interesting things to see and uh, in the area um, I'm gonna go back there because I think there's a lot more to find in those woods um, and that's yeah well I love the fields of dreams and now I love the woods on the fields of dreams <laughs> or, or next to whatever you want to call it Anyway, guys, thanks for watching. Really appreciate it. Much more coming soon.